Whatever I use to organize my life has to be insanely functional. Today, I wanna to talk to you about developing a control journal. And as I'm talking to you, I never want us to get caught up in the product over the purpose. Because right now, our purpose is to develop something that is like a mom binder. Something that keeps all our routines, our, our daily chores, our weekly chores. It's a home organizational tool. It stays in the hub of your home. For me, that's the kitchen. And it has all of your data for a smooth operating home. Hello there, I'm Danielle, homeschooling mother of seven. This is my channel, welcome. It suddenly strikes me that maybe a control journal would be a good thing. So I started asking myself the question, how? How can I have a control journal that actually helps and benefits my life? And this is what I came up with. This is where the magic happens. This is my bathroom. Magic? <laughs> I just mean that in the morning, this is where I come, splash water on my face, brush my teeth, use the bathroom, and then start getting ready for the day. This is also the place where I do one of my morning chores, which is my swish and swipe in my bathroom. So I'm gonna take my sticky notes and I'm just merely gonna write swish and swipe on that sticky note. Also on this sticky note, I am gonna write make my bed. Also on the sticky note, I am gonna write get dressed to the shoes. And that, my friends, is the beginning of my control journal. Right, I have to be very clear with you on this Fly Lady control journal thing. It is not supposed to be beautiful. I don't want everything that I do just to be in my own head, my household routines, the way I keep a functioning home. So it's really important that we don't get caught up in the perfection of it and we just start. That's why I'm starting with sticky notes, guys. You sometimes read about the keys to the cellar or the keys to the cutlery and the silver, the china. Mammy wishes to know where the key to the silver cabinet is kept. Now I'm going to look at this uh, control journal that I'm developing as the proverbial keys to my cellar. I do not have a cellar and no silver to speak of that should be locked in the buffet. But we moms are the mistresses of our home. The ones responsible for so much of the peace and the flow and the order of our everyday lives. My control journal needs to have a snug place in the kitchen. That's step number one. You need to have a place for your control journal where it is easily accessible and easily tucked. Kind of looked at the control journal as a time consuming project that might be useful in the long run and really I might not use that much. Imagine my surprise when suddenly as I looked around at all the sticky notes and, and spare pages that were just lying around that I had written uh, my routines, written down my zone cleaning, and, and saw that if I compiled these things, I essentially would have a control journal. And suddenly, I wanted to put together a control journal, and not only that, I saw how useful it would be to the daily implementation of my habits. So these are my supplies. I have to tell you, I literally went into my schoolroom and got whatever was extra of our school stuff. I pilfered through binders and old things that we weren't using anymore. I got this, a tiny purple binder. I found some page separators and sheet protectors. A stack of white paper, sticky notes. Sticky notes. Dry erase markers. And a pen. So I, I haven't purchased anything for this project. Also, I am taking all the sheets that I've been gradually filling out to remind myself of what I'm doing and to, to try to get the information out of my head and onto paper. So I really am doing very little. I'm just compiling it and seeing how is this gonna best serve me. Everything that we do, it needs to serve you as a mom and your whole family. So I'm going off of the Fly Lady Control Journal, but what this is, is an organizational notebook, a mom binder, whatever you wanna call it, but something where you can keep it in your kitchen and you can always have on hand everything that you're doing in your daily routines, your weekly routines, your monthly routines. And so it, it just makes the process of adding routines in your life much simpler. It is a hot one today. So if you see me sweating profusely, just divert your eyes. The first part of my binder is going to be my daily routines, morning, afternoon, and evening. I'm only writing down the routines I'm actively doing, and then I will continue to 
pull the sheet out of the sheet protector, write my new routine once I establish it, and put it back in. And I don't mean establish it. Once I begin it, then I will just put it on my routine list to remind myself. These are just helpful reminders. Um, I have a basic morning routine that I don't need to look at a mom binder for. However, anything new that I add, I do need to be reminded of. And if I am zone cleaning and I list everything in that zone, then I can take one of my handy dandy dry erase markers and mark them off as I go throughout the week. If you've watched my video on zone cleaning or if you are familiar with zone cleaning, you have 15 minutes that you are in this zone every day for that week of zone. If you're in, say, zone three. Let's just go with zone two, kitchen and dining room. Then we have a list of all the things that need to be done for a deeper cleaning, starting from the top and moving downward. And you just start checking off the things you do. You're only working for 15 minutes in that zone. And then tomorrow you're going back to that zone and working for 15 minutes. Then you check off what you've done that day. So that's why sheet protectors are a really valuable thing and the dry erase markers so that it's easy to just at the end of the month after you're finished with that zone or you're starting a new zone, just Take a little Windex and wipe off your sheet protector. Let's do it. A control journal is not in the place of our daily planner, whatever you use, or your wall calendar. It really, to me, represents the habits and organization of my home. It reflects every day that it's possible to get everything done, just one thing at a time. So my first pages are my daily routines. I also have our daily weekly focus to just remind me what I'm doing and focusing on each day. The next section is zones. As you can see, I wrote out each zone. I hand wrote it even though you can go on the Fly Lady website and there are printables. This was just easier for me. I color coded each zone so it matches with my calendar so that my children easily can look at what color it is and then match the zone. Now, these sheets are really easy to just take out of the book, page protector and all, and carry it with me to my zone. And then I can just check off the tasks I've accomplished. The next section is for my menu plans. I start out with just a list of family favorites. So when I am making my menu plan for the week on Saturday, I can just look and see if I get any ideas from there. On the next page is just a list of the three main grocery places we shop at. And so I have a running list of what we typically buy there. Then I have tons of lined paper so I can just write my menus when I am doing my planning and write my grocery list at the same time. A couple other pages I have is just a household to-do list. And then I'm working on two minute tasks. This is a side note, but everything I do has my children in mind. What I want for my children and especially my girls, is to teach them to run a home. Teach them to be organized in the pain of their bills, in the getting done those daily tasks and chores that help keep their life running smoothly, that help them get to their job on time, that help them be, be able to find the shoes they need in a timely manner, that help them with personal hygiene. And, and building routines into your day and teaching your children to do the same is, is really futuristic thinking because you're building a foundation of successful habits to build their future habits on. As always, remember, no income mom your kids like you, and I will see you next time.